Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the ABIT IC7G motherboard. What is included in this package are two serial ATA cables, two serial ATA power cables, as well as two rounded cables, one for the floppy drive and a regular IDE cable. And this one here is ATA133. Included as well is a serial ATA converter if you want to use this on a regular hard drive and the power cable. Included as well is an IO shield plate, two extra USB 2 ports, two extra firewire ports, some software, drivers, a manual, and the motherboard. Now let me just go over some of the key features about this motherboard. Right here is where the Pentium 4 CPU gets installed. You can install either dual or single channel memory. The floppy controller is right here and the two IDE controllers are right here. Now there are serial ATA controllers. There's one by Silicon Image right here. There's two connections and one by Intel right here. Two connections as well. And by the way, you can do RAID on this motherboard. Five PCI slots, one AGP slot. And as you can see, the chipset does have active of cooling. That's good because it's going to keep it nice and cool when you have those high front side busts. Now there are actually five fan headers but one is taken by this fan which is on top of that chipset. There are another four. One right here, one right here, one right here, and one right here. And the power connections right here and right here. This motherboard has the standard PS2 connections for the keyboard and the mouse, a COM port, a printer port, it also has optic in and out, six channel audio, four USB 2 ports, a firewire port, and onboard LAN. Within the soft menu 3 setup part of the BIOS is where you can go to adjust different settings like the front side bus as well as the DRAM ratio and the voltages. First let's have a look here at the very top. If you have a CPU and you don't want to overclock it, well you can just leave it at the normal settings which you see right now. Or you can go ahead here and adjust for example the front side bus setting you can go all the way up to 412 megahertz. Another important feature in this BIOS if you're overclocking is the DRAM ratio. You can see here, you can leave it by SPD or you got a number of options here. 3, 2, 5, 4, 1, 1. Now what does all that mean? Well, for example, if you were to have a front side bus of 260 megahertz, 3, 2 would equal a front side bus of approximately 174 megahertz. And if you had 5, 4, that would equal a front side bus of 208 megahertz. And if you had 1 to 1, that equals a front side bus of 260 megahertz. An important part to any BIOS when you're overclocking is the ability to adjust the AGP ratio. And in this one, you can. You can go an automatic setting, or you can have a number of other settings, or you can have a fixed setting. And that means that you'll be able to keep that AGP and PCI frequency down when you have a high front side bus to keep everything stable. At the bottom here you can adjust a number of voltages for the CPU, the memory, and the video card. For the CPU you can go all the way up to 1.9 volts. For the memory you can go all the way up to 2.8 volts. And for the video you can go all the way up to 1.65 volts. Within the advanced BIOS features part of the BIOS is where you can go to adjust things like the hyper-threading technology and also adjust the different boot priority. For example, you can see here where this PCI slot device is. Well, if you don't want to have that as the boot device, you can go ahead, for example, and have that onboard serial ATA controllers to be your boot device. You can also adjust the first boot, second boot, and third boot, and so on. Within the advanced chipset is where you can go to adjust and tweak your memory settings and more. Here at the top you can see you can do a buy SPD option on the memory or you can manually select it. If you do, you can go and adjust the timings manually. You can see as well further down here you can adjust that AGP mode to eight times and even further down here you've got the game accelerator and you can tweak the system with that even more. Within the integrated peripherals part of the BIOS is where you can go to enable and disable things like the onboard RAID, the onboard serial ATA, the onboard audio, the onboard USB, the onboard firewire, and so on. And finally, the PC health status. In here is where you can view all the different temperatures, the different fan speeds, and all of the voltages. Here at the top you can see you can set a fan alarm if the fan was to fail. You can also set a shutdown temperature and a CPU warning temperature.
The 3D Mark 03 result is 6608. These are the settings used in the Comanche 4 demo, a screen resolution of 1280 by 1024 at 32 bit. I've checked texture compression, disabled V-Sync, and hardware shaders are checked. And the result is 63.09 frames per second. These are the settings used in the Quake 3 Arena demo, a video mode of 1280 by 1024 at 32 bit. Geometric detail is at high, texture detail is at max, texture quality is 32 bit and the texture filter is trilinear. And the result is 238.7 frames per second. I've used all the default settings in the XS Mark except for a screen resolution of 1280 by 1024 at 32 bit. And the result is 9390. And the Unreal Tournament 2003 benchmark results at a screen resolution of 1280 by 960 are the flyby is 199 and the bot match is 83. The Sci Software Sandra CPU result is 10,961. The Sci Software Sandra CPU multimedia result is 16,216. And the Sci Software Sandra memory result is 5,768. The PC Mark 2002 results are the CPU score is 8,574, the memory score is 9,823, and the hard drive score is 1,031. Using the Intel controller, I got a result of 54,210. And using the Silicon Image controller, I got a result of 46,044. The results really speak for themselves with this product. It is overclockable, stable, and performs very well and includes just about everything you're going to need in a motherboard. Overall, this is, without a question, a kick-ass product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com and while you're there you can go into the forums and register and remember registration is completely free. Until the next time, take care.